let's start with AC, alternating current. That means in electrical current, we change direction or change polarity 60 times a second. And it's considered to be 60 hertz. So we build up current in one direction, it changes polarity, drops down to the other side and so forth. That's 60 times a second, alternating current, AC. So now let's talk about MF DC, medium frequency DC. Medium frequency DC is what's being used more and more today. There's some advantages of MF DC because it's at a thousand hertz. That means we can adjust the weld times in thousandths of a second. Whereas with AC, it's in sixtieths of a second. So we can adjust our times to a lot finer degree with MFDC. The other thing about MFDC is it's direct current. That means current always travels in just one direction. Now that can make a difference in some of your welding. So you really need to evaluate which one is going to work best for you. But there's also something else with MFDC. And let's take a look at what we're looking at here. What we have a sample of is a transformer that's AC. You can see inside this welder here, the transformer that's built into the welder. And you'll notice that it's quite large. Well, right here we have one that's MFDC. Notice the transformer is much smaller. So because of that thousand hertz, we can have a lot more compactness in the size of our transformers. And that might be a consideration when you're talking about the design of the welder or the application that you're putting it in. But both really are sustainable in today's resistance welding. If you have questions about which type of power to use on your welder, give us a call here at TJ Snow. Thank you.